Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x square minus 1 is equals to x minus 1 whole square and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here uh, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards the solution from first method. And in first method, we uh, rewrite our above equation as in the left hand side, we have this is x square minus 1. And we write this one as 1 square is equals to x minus 1 whole square. So uh, here in the left hand side, we use this nice algebraic formula. You know about that. If we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. You see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we can apply here this uh, formula to the left hand side of a above equation so our above equation is written as this is a minus b the value of a is x minus the value of b is 1 into again the value of a is x plus the value of b is 1 and this is equals to x minus 1 whole square so now here uh, we move the term in right hand side to the left hand side so it will become x minus 1 times of x plus 1. This is positive x minus 1 whole square when we move it into the left hand side it will become the negative x minus 1 whole square and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now you see here uh, both of these terms involve x minus 1 so that we will take common x minus 1 from here and when we take common x minus 1 we get the remaining values are uh, from here we get x plus 1 minus uh, here we move x 1 x minus 1 term here and we get only one term here so it will become x minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we have x minus 1 times of x plus 1 and we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will become minus x and plus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we have x minus 1 times of this is the negative and positive term are gone and we will get here 1 plus 1 becomes 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we divide uh, both of the sides by 2 in order to remove uh, this 2 from left hand side. So uh, for removing this we divide both of the sides by 2. And you see here this 2 and this 2 are gone and we get the remaining values are x minus 1 is equals to. Here uh, you see that 0 divided by 2 becomes here 0. Because we know that when we divide a 0 with any number, you will get here 0. So when here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become plus 1. Okay. So this is the value of x which we get here from first method. And in the next steps, we need to verify that is this value of x is satisfied our given question statement or not. So for the verification of this value of x, we need to copy down given question statement here. It is x minus 1 is equals to x minus 1 whole square. So this is the given question statement and here we substitute the value of x is equals to 1 on both of the sides. So when we put this value here, it will become 1 square minus 1 equals to 1 minus 1 whole square. And we have 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and this 1 minus 1 is also becomes 0 and its whole square. So 0 square and is equals to 0. So this means that both of the sides are equal when we choose x is equals to 1. This means that x is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement. So we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that x is equals to 1 be the solution set of this question. So this is the final answer which we get here from first method and here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here. So the given question statement is x square minus 1 is equals to x minus 1 whole square. This is our given question statement 
and in the second method we use here and other algebraic formula into the right hand side in order to find the values of x from here so you know about that if we have a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so here we apply this nice formula into the right hand side uh, so after applying this formula our right hand side is written as in this form so first we write here our left hand side it is x square minus 1 is equals to this is x minus 1 whole square when you apply this formula here it will becomes x square minus 2 times of a is x and b is 1 plus b square so b is 1 square and further in the next step we need to move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes x square minus 1 this is positive x square when we move it into the left hand side it will become negative x square this is minus 2 times of x uh, when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes plus 2 times of x and this is plus 1 square when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus 1 is equals to 0 so here we need more simplifications and uh, you see here this is the negative and positive term are gone and you get here minus 1 minus 1 becomes minus 2 plus this is 2 times of x is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to move this minus 2 to the right hand side and it will be written as 2x is equals to this is minus 2 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 2 uh, and here uh, we divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will be written as 2x divided by 2 equals 2 divided by 2 so this 2 and this 2 are gone and we will get here x is equals to this 2 and this 2 are also gone and we get here 1 so you see here in second method we again get the value of x is equals to 1 but in the first method we already verify that this value of x is satisfied our given question statement so we conclude about that the solution set of this question is that x is equals to 1 be the solution set of the given equation so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos